Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. You think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Any time. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top-secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development. Self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Jensen. I haven't got all night. I told you, I had to brief Sarah first. I see. I guess I never realized how much of a brown noser you were. I'm not a brown noser, Francis. I just enjoy keeping you on edge. Ten minutes, Jensen. Make it snappy.
not be accompanying Mr. Tiger to the charity dinner tonight. Utah instead. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Seraph? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you.
Welcome to Lim International. Providing information, diagnosis. Would you say the police were I don't know. The crowd was getting pretty hostile. Lynn believes but there was violence, access right? to augmentations the police for did everyone. physically strike some of the protesters, but we right? still ask you well, to wait your turn. Sort of. Hey, some people were shoving the police shields, and, and the cops had to shove back, but uh, nobody really got hit, I don't think. So the cops shoved people down. Very good. Thank you. before. Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? Uh, more or less. I know it sounds a little... ...hair raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a pretty safe procedure. Will I feel any pain or anything? I saw the news this evening. Am I to assume that Seraph has you running around getting shot at again? It's my job to get shot at. It's his to tell me when. Does he feel your pain for you, too? He pays for my insurance, so I guess he does. He pays for many things. This clinic, for example, could not operate nearly as well as it does without the financial generosity of our corporate sponsors. David Seraf being one of them. The same can be said of every limb facility worldwide. You trying to tell me something, Doc? Only that everybody myself included, can be made vulnerable to suggestion if certain pressures are applied. As your doctor, I hope you will remember that the decision to undergo neuroprosthetic surgery must always be your own. I'll keep that in mind. I sincerely hope you do. This is the first time I've actually had the guts to walk in the door. Will you be purchasing anything today? Dr. Teasdale to X-ray. Dr. Teasdale to X-ray. Always a pleasure, sir. Dr. Chetri, call two seven. Dr. Chetri, call 217.
Granted. Access to not My pit bull augmented. Get him some you know, cyber paws, and cyber fangs, and shit. You know, throw him in the ring. Augmentation? Yeah, a word. We should. Um, what do you call that? You, 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 register. Patent. Copyright. Yeah, copyright. Let's copyright that shit. Augmentation. Yo, we gotta be rich, man. <laughs> 